Hey everyone, today I'm gonna have a look over a sensor that is BH1715. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website controleverything.com and search for this sensor. Now let's see what we got. So BH1715 is a digital ambient light sensor, 16 bit, 1265535 lux. And these are some of its features. You can buy a drug from here. Well, I will be interfacing the sensor BH1715 for this session with a Raspberry Pi and a Java code. For the code, go to resource tab and here is our Java code sample. Click on it and you can download the code from here. You can also have the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now we require some hardware and let's make the connections for that. Well, first of all, in the hardware section part, we require a Raspberry Pi which is available and you can see on my screen it too. Now these are the GPI pins of the Pi. The second thing we require is an I2C shield. The question arises why we use this shield and the answer is to make connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So gently place the I2C shield over the GPI pins like this. Now this is the sensor, digital ambient light sensor BH1715 and a connecting cable is here. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same has to be done with the I2C shield. Now this is a micro USB cable. It is used to power up our Raspberry Pi and gently insert it over the power jack. For an internet connection, we require an ethernet cable or a LAN cable just like this and gently push over the ethernet jack. In case if you don't have a LAN cable or an ethernet jack or an ethernet cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module or adapter like this to make the internet connection sufficient. So we are done with the hardware connections part. Now let's see how the code is going to interface with our sensor. Now let's have a look over the interfacing of our sensor that is BH1715 using a Raspberry Pi and a Java code. For the code, log in to github.com and here search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Click on over it and here is our required sensor BH1715 and this is the Java code we insist. Now let's have a look over the instruction first. We have to download and install Pi4j library on the Raspberry Pi and this Pi4j.com link will help us to install the library easily. This is the command to compile the code and this is the command to run the Java code. Please note it down. Now get back to the Java code as you can notice and uh, this is a .java extension file. And the first thing we have done, we have included all the libraries which will be helpful in later this code. Now we have created a public class name BH1715 and we have created a factory in instance and the bus.get device will have the address of our sensor that is 0x23. We have sent the power on command for the sensor that is 0x01 and sent continuous measurement command and the writing command is 0x10. We have read two bytes of luminous data and here the conversion of luminance is according to the data sheet of BH1715. At the very end of our code, we have ambient light luminance and the unit is lux. So this is how our code looks like. Now let's have a look over the working environment for this sensor using our Raspberry Pi and Java code. So copy this entire Java code and open up the terminal for the Raspberry Pi. Here create a new file with .java extension and paste the entire code and save it. Now this is the command to run Java code and here we go. It's done and now this is the command to run the code. We have ambient light as I close my hand over the sensor to put some shadow. The ambient light luminance in Lux decreases. Now again doing that, it's continuously decreasing. Now instead of that, if I put some light source near it and put light on the sensor and run the command, 
you can notice there's increase in ambient light luminance now again doing that it increases further so this is how the digital light sensor BH1715 goes with the Raspberry Pi and a Java code well we have seen the working of sensor BH1715 this sensor is a digital light sensor with an I2C bus interface its spectral responsibility is approximately human eye response it has a wide range and high resolution along with low power consumption the BH1715 is commonly used to obtain the ambient light data for adjusting LCD and keypad backlight power for mobile devices. Other applications include mobile gaming devices, digital camera response and so on. This sensor can be purchased from our website controleverything.com and the Java code is available on the same site. You can get the Java code from our GitHub repository also that is control everything community now if you have any queries you can contact us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your queries your comments on our community page for articles blogs you can contact us on instructables.com and for more video tutorials you can subscribe our youtube channel in the end you have a nice day